Sorry, what were you saying? <laughs> Sorry. Um, I went back into the aggressive mask um, where there was a line... Um, um, there's, yeah, there's a line. It says, um, he, he is best who trained in the severest school. So, I mean, I, I threw up maybe a couple of examples in terms of environment based on what you just said. So I was talking about living abroad. I think that toughens you up. I think it puts you into a whole new environment where you need to learn to adapt. And I think in coming through those circumstances, you'll be a stronger person. Mm-hmm. Um, I put also boarding school. I think it's maybe not something that people talk about often, but I was talking with a passenger yesterday whilst I was um, Ubering and the... Um, the vibe I got, what the vibe I got, or some of the things I took away from it, is that boarding school. Obviously, we know it's a tough place. You're, you're away from your parents and stuff like that. So there's a lot of things you generally, um, so not generally take. I mean, in being away from your parents, in being away from your friends, um, that distance can make it very, very difficult for someone at that age to to cope. And I think in coming out of, in coming out of those circumstances, obviously you become a stronger person. Um, then there's the army. Obviously, that's a very, very tough upbringing. <laughs> In A, being another country, A, fighting in a war, which is a completely different set of circumstances. And some of the stuff that unfortunately actually takes place in the army, just in and amongst your your comrades. And then there's football in a change room, um, which is another di- different set of circumstances where there's a lot of banter and stuff that goes on and takes place obviously within a change room, which you've actually got, you've got to have a very, very strong mind, a very strong mentality to survive in those change rooms. Uh, and then there's obviously just living in and around... Um, your area in and yeah, your area, which can be a very tough upbringing, um, to obviously a very nice upbringing, where I think those things definitely um, mould you as to who you are and your personality. Yeah. What just to play devil's advocate? What do you think would prevent not prevent you, but so we've we've spoken about things which which might um influence you and your alpha male characteristic or personality or mask. What kind of things would kind of make you grow up just being completely what's what's the opposite of alpha male non alpha male I don't know what 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 do you think what kind of things would just make you be completely like someone not to take the lead I don't passive know, like, yeah passive what what does that it, well we could say it comes down to personality because not everyone wants to be the alpha male mm-hmm. not everyone is the alpha male do you know what I mean so <sighs> but sometimes I, what, I'm trying to look at the positive you, of being what, alpha male I, I, so, some some alpha males look at as having drive or a passion to achieve yeah. a goal so maybe um, what maybe where would what what would what would make someone not have this passion? What would make someone just be like? Maybe they want the simple, simple, whatever it may be. They want it simple, so they don't want to have to overexert themselves or display um, aggression at times, so they can get their attention or be the one to take the first step and be like, okay, I'm gonna take up. Some people may just want to fade into the background and mm-hmm. not do that. So. I think sometimes I think um, we or people make the mistake of thinking alpha male is obviously I know it's known as the top dog mm. um, but it doesn't necessarily mean you're the best yeah you know, I agree with that yeah so like I, so I don't necessarily like want to be I don't think I want to be an alpha male I may obviously I, in being successful I think you need alpha male traits mm-hmm. but it's not necessarily I don't necessarily want to be the alpha male mm-hmm. and obviously I know I gave a couple of examples there um, and it's funny um I forget exactly what your question was, but I think it was kind of leading into it was leading towards your environment and stuff like that. And I feel obviously I spoke about potentially moving away and stuff like that. And I feel by going to Barcelona where it's for a couple of months or maybe for a little bit longer than a couple of months, I feel if I don't go if I don't go away, I won't grow as a person. And I feel I need to do that in order to grow as a person. So I do think your environment is really, really important. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Um the book goes on to mention <clears throat> that if you wear the alpha mask too often and for too long your behaviour will start to change and fit. Um, we'll, we'll, be, we'll begin to change and fit the alpha mass. Um, and with anything, of course, you'd end up normalising it. Yeah. But what would cause you to constantly have on your alpha mask? Is it fear of... Well, I've, well, I've put pox judgement, but I don't know why. Is it, is it fear of... <laughs> Is it, you scared is, of something? No, no. Obviously, <laughs> autocorrect. Is it fear of judgment? Is it playing up or portraying a character that people around you prefer? I mean, what's your thoughts? And the reason I raised this for, just before, 
um, not just before, sorry, but yeah, just before I um, left the house, some reason I, I think I mentioned French that I was watching an interview with Takashi Six Nine. So that's this guy. He's a, he's like a I think he's half Mexican rapper from New York, mm. and he's like everyone's speaking about him because he's basically um, he's got he's he's got like some tracks which are popular, but I think his actual persona and character out is just so big that everyone wants to basically know him and they're clicking onto his tunes and every he's kind of like a hot topic in like New York or or US rap and hip hop at the moment and basically he um he calls out a lot of other rappers and he does silly things and he's just really really like pissed everyone in the in the, a lot of people in the industry off but obviously what it's doing is highlighting what he's doing with his music and it's bringing in views and shows and what whatnot but that kind of the reason I asked the question is because or not what I asked that question, but mm. one of the things that I was thinking about before I came up was Takash 6 9 fits this, like, um, in that, why is he constantly wearing this mask? A lot of people are saying he's wearing a mask. He's put on, on this image of being a bad boy and all this, when he's not, he's actually a good boy. And I think a picture surfaced of him when he was like 14 or something, going to prom, and he just looked like any other good, good, mm. good, boy. Good, good boy, basically. So why would you, why would you constantly wear your alpha mask? And as I said, is it fear of judgment? Is it playing up or portraying a character that people around you prefer? What's your guys' thoughts? I think it depends on your pressures. So, like, generally, people, I would say, people might wear an, might wear an alpha um, alpha mask because, um, a, yeah, you might want to wear an alpha mask because of fear of being second or fear of um, not quite being, I don't want to say the chosen one, but not quite being the one people look up to as such. Um, but then obviously I think you might find yourself in in a room or an environment where there's now loads of different alpha males mm. and now you actually have to step up your game and they're the reason why maybe people begin to keep them on like someone might come into well, it may even fit your maybe fit um, your scenario to where you're new at work I'm not too sure if people put any mask on on there as such but someone new's coming to work and other people may feel you know what I need to step up my game because someone new's coming with these set of skill sets which I may not have mm-hmm. And people wear masks in order to um, perpetuate, um, not necessarily a personality, but, well, perpetuate something. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I think once you put on that alpha mask in an environment, you kind of have to, not have to, but you tend to, you'd want to carry it in all situations and always be the domineering person. Like, And it almost, it almost <coughs> brings into play the know-it-all mask no matter what situation is, you want to be the alpha male, so you want to know it all. You want to be, do you know what I mean, the alpha male, so you're going to tell the most jokes or be the loudest in the room. Mm-hmm. So it almost, it, it's attached to other masks at the same time. Just, do you know what I mean? <coughs> Once we've been spe- attached to other masks, with all the masks, do you think, and I might have mentioned this before, but do you think ego is closely linked to, to a lot of these masks as well? Um... Yeah, I think we touched on that in the yeah. first part in regards to... <clears throat> I think, yeah, ego is definitely involved, tied up in each individual mask, 100%. That's my favorite, my, my thought anyway. I believe we did we did definitely go over it, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so. I'm trying to think of all the masks, but certainly the ones we meant aggressive, I think it's definitely tied to that. Joker, yeah, I think, I think it's tied... Yeah, by and large, I think it's tied into some, if not most of them, yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, just leading on from the question marks, um, according to the book, the tough part, <clears throat> the tough part about the alpha mask, is that whilst it's ro- rooted in insecurity and fear, it can bring with it rewards, i.e., fame, popularity, etc., etc. To cast six nine example, yeah. Poker, do you know what? this made me think of a book, the book that you've read before? What's the man who goes on all those dates and gets all these women? That you, I think you raised it before. The but game. Maybe, yeah, maybe think of that because throughout he's wearing a mask. Yeah, hundred percent. He's wearing a mask. Throughout the whatever, whichever various mask it is, he puts on various masks throughout. Uh-huh. And I'm wondering if he actually got lost in his masks. If it actually um, he definitely got lost in his mask. I mean, I think he says it like he got definitely got lost in his mask at some point where he was like, "Who am I?" At the point, at some point. Mm-hmm. Um, if you scroll through to page two hundred six. Um, it mentioned the book goes on to mention that playing up to your alpha masks eventually will only get you so far so I mean it says who wants to complete meathead for life or maybe it's something I said who wants to complete meathead for life if you're yeah, going no, to I read the gym that. yeah, yeah. Um, you need other bows to your string essentially um, and that goes for women as well because I think I've raised this before where it's all good 
the rise of social media, Instagram, these women, you know, twerking up and mm. this and that and not have, actually having anything else to them. It goes for both. What's your thoughts in terms of that, in terms of having other boats to your string and alpha mask when they get you so far? Yeah, of course. Like, how could you not have more bows, to your, more string to your bow, or bow to your string? So, no, yeah, no. String, strings to your bow, string to your bow. Sorry, um, to <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. How could you not? It's just that, that you'll be simple. That's as it says. You're only gonna get so far. So yeah, it's quite um, conclusive. Uh-huh. Pops, do you agree? Or? Yeah, I think it's conclusive. I mean, even yesterday in the conversation with the girl in the car, um, she went on to say, she says something like, um, she, I mean, I don't know, she might have been very, being honest with herself as to her her view and perception. She goes, well, I know I'm not no Cindy Crawford or blah, blah. <laughs> I was looking at me and said, well, you're not bad, by the way. I, was, I didn't actually say that, but I mean, yeah. I can't, part, actually, not, probably wishes I did say that and not, to put it on her as such but yeah, just, just you know a compliment goes like a long way and I didn't actually affirm <laughs> either really <laughs> now nah, you're not no cynical <laughs> but like nah but she went on to say but I do have other bows to my sh- yeah. other strings to my bow yeah. in that I'm, I'm doing very well in my career I'm a nice person mm. and a few other stuff um, she was cool um, but yeah I think it's really really important to other to have other strings to your bow I think it's <laughs> it's yeah I think it's not just looks and stuff like that that count for on a side note does it I don't know why but it always worries me when someone has to reaffirm to someone else I'm a nice person I just it, something about it when someone says yeah. I don't know it doesn't sit right with me it's like they're trying to convince themselves you might as well be talking in third person when you do that <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean What's wrong with me? I'm a nice person. All I did was like, you know, stab him a few times. <laughs> anyway. um, page 208. Lewis House talks about a podcast he conducted with a lady named Al- Alanae Morissette. And during the post- podcast, she put a positive spin on the term the alpha male by using the phrase empowered alpha. Um, with the idea being that as an alpha male, the effect you leave on others is just as important as what you yourself achieve. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Yes, yeah. it does make a lot of sense. Um, and that being said, and that was a nice positive spin to, live, to leave on it, I think our true friends and family shouldn't and don't give a damn what's behind our mask. So playing this alpha mask or alpha male mask is a load of BS. And But society might, and that's where the problem lies. Does that make sense? Yeah. No, I think what you said, you said yeah. our friends and family don't care what's behind our mask. I think that's what you said. They shouldn't. Yeah. Oh, our shouldn't friends and care. family shouldn't care what's behind our mask, shouldn't give a damn. Mm. But society does, and I think that's where the problem lies. No, sorry. You said our friends and family shouldn't care what's behind our mask. Yeah. They, what, what? Sh- they should care. They shouldn't give a damn, sorry, what's behind... They shouldn't care what's beneath yeah, the mask. Yeah, what's beneath the mask. When we take the mask they off, they should, should be able to we, accept you for We who should you be are. the real us. Cool, yeah, that's right, yeah. Stop trying to challenge me, man. <laughs> no, 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 but you said it wrong. You said they shouldn't care what's behind the mask. Well, French, people know what I'm getting out of here. Yeah, now. okay, just what I correct you, that's all. Anyway, that's, that's me done on the alpha male. <laughs> that's a wrap, boys. Okay. I think that's it. Nice one. Yeah. Until the next time. I think yeah. what we're doing, the next, the next part we're doing is the conclusion. Yeah. Sweet.